Hi everyone, Catherine here from Inky Finger Cat. Decided to pull out some pan papers. Now, these papers are all from magazine kits that I have at some point chopped down, and these are leftover bits and pieces. Uh, they came from, I'm pretty sure, Making Cards magazine. So what I have is a pouch that's got all of the toppers in, and then I have a pouch with all the pattern papers. And I'm literally just gonna grab the first few off the top. Uh, I only ended up making two cards, don't end up making three. Um, so I'll put that topper back, but yeah, I just grabbed those first few bits of pattern paper and then I fiddle around for ages because I've just transferring them from a big A4 pocket into these A6 pockets. So excuse me whilst I fiddle with the papers. But yeah, I just decided to keep things really simple today. That's what I wanted to do. So um, yeah, dead simple cards. Probably quite masculine in feel because of the fact that I've gone with blues and greens and um, some kind of nature scenes. I decided to do these on five by seven card blanks. Um, and so I just fiddle with things and trim things down and just move papers around really. I decided to mount them onto white. You can see there I am. Um, got that one slightly wonky so and then I ended up trimming it down anyway so didn't need to move it uh, but yeah I decided to give them white bases to the the pieces of paper just to give them a bit of a frame and a bit of a, a focus and yeah just umming and ahhing about it the toppers themselves are quite large even on these five by seven, they're quite big toppers. So I do end up chopping them down, one quite considerably. The, the one that I'm playing with at the moment, I don't chop down quite as much. And I also kept these cards relatively flat because there's quite a few layers to them. And especially with me adding the card um, card stock kind of matte layers, they become kind of, they're still flat cards, but they become kind of quite dimensional in themselves. So that was card number one, just kind of popped to one side once I've got all of these bits to bits together. And now I'm just working on card number two. Um, again, very similar, kept the um, panels flat, put some white cardstock underneath them, just trim them as and when I needed to trim them. Yeah, kept it so simple. Do you know, sometimes it's just fun to just stick and glow. Cut, stick, cut and stick. Is that the right word? Cut and stick. Um, and not really think about it. So there's no stamping that I do for this particular uh, set of cards. There is stamping that's been done previously because the sentiment is a stamped sentiment. But those who've been following me for a while know that what I tend to do is I, I'll batch make sentiments rather than necessarily do them all at the same time oh this one I did add a little layer of um I think it was like some paper underneath it just to raise it up slightly but otherwise that I mean it's it's very minimal <laughs> in terms of dimension so I've grabbed two sentiments that are already stamped dyed stacked and now I'm going through my little set of dies uh, die cut pieces that have been cut from scraps previously and again something i like to do a it saves time but it also just means it's easy to grab them and it's an it's a nice sort of like mindless job to do so you don't need to think much about to doing it so it's good for doing when you're feeling tired or when you're thinking i want to create but i've not really got my mojo there so again i die cut all the scrap card stock that i've got in a pouch uh, in one go just pull out smaller dies and that's how i do it so the first one I just added in some of those pierced leaves. This one I've picked three sort of like banner shapes, but they're really tiny banners. So they'll, they'll only fit underneath certain kinds of things. So I decided to layer three in a sort of diagonal position uh, underneath my sentiment. And then I put in the gold pierced leaves to go on underneath those, sort of picking up on the slightly autumnal feel of the pictures. Ta-da, done and dusted really simple easy i think it took me 22 minutes to make the both cards so not bad at all and that included pulling the papers out and fiddling around with them so i hope you enjoyed this as i say it's a really simple project just using up bits and pieces that i've got i am trying my hardest to work through old stash use it oh i did this off camera i just popped little bits that were strips left over from the pattern paper on the inserts just to kind of keep the theming going. So I hope you enjoyed, like, 
subscribe and until next time bye bye